know if I. Good. So you you're talking a lot about Elijah Mitchell, and I know before we came on here, you're like, man, this like Elijah Mitchell might be kind of the the sleeper, as especially as it pertains to fantasy football. Now, I, I I've been I am in outside of underdog fantasy best ball, I am in one fantasy league, but in that mm-hmm. one fantasy league, I do in fact have Elijah Mitchell. All right. So right now we see his over under on his yards. It's set at five sixty. You're are you taking the higher on that? I like the over for sure. And then obviously everything pertains to health here, right? The thing is, is that Elijah Mitchell would get hurt, come back and be healthy like, and, and, and look great. But listen, if McCaffrey goes down, I'm not going to say that I'm not worried about how the offense will perform, but it, but I wouldn't go into a panic. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think that Elijah's, like I said, as far as in between the tackles, obviously he doesn't give you what McCaffrey gives you in the pass game. But from a running back standpoint and an understanding of zone rushing and zone running, the kid gets it, bro. He understand he understands the the system, just like Jeff Wilson, just like Mostert, he gets it. Which is crazy because early in Elijah Mitchell's career, like that was the biggest knock was, mm-hmm. oh, he's he's uh he, he's not seeing the field right, he's not seeing the field correctly, his vision isn't great, and then you know how like social media is, especially Twitter. Once you kind of get this tag on you, everyone starts to use that same narrative on you. Uh, and I thought he actually ran maybe a little bit better than people were, were saying. But obviously you saw him continue to get better throughout the season. And then last year, it just felt like, oh, this is a, a really good runner. And then boom, he gets hurt in the first half. I mean, he was on his way in, in that Bears game to where it's like, oh, this is the back that they want him to be. Unfortunately, he got hurt. But every time he came back, he picked up where he left off. And, you know, his average per carry was crazy. Um, he ran well. He ran strong. He even, you know, caught some passes. But I think, you know, obviously the talk of the town is going to be about Christian McCaffrey, and deservedly so. I mean, he's maybe the most important player on the 49ers offense. But Elijah Mitchell, as a spellback, he might be in one of the better spellback situations in the NFL as long as he can stay healthy. Absolutely. And also remember, there are, there, we, we classify sports fans now a little differently, right? There are guys that actually know ball. And then there are guys who are fans fans. And then there are guys that judge players based on how bad their parlays do that week. That's, <laughs> that, uh, and that's how it goes. There's some guys that are on the internet that are convinced that players suck because they lost them money. Elijah Mitchell, the guys that think that Elijah Mitchell don't fit or, or have something negative to say, they have bet on Elijah Mitchell. He has either gotten hurt or has not accomplished the number, and that's how they have made their dissemination of facts on that player. That's what we – listen, it's 2023. That's what we're dealing with, bro. We're dealing with people who, if they're, if the parlay don't hit, that guy sucks. And you see it with every sport. So, you know what I mean? That, that, that's – that's I get – again, that, that, that's how it is. If you're looking at Elijah, I think Elijah over 560 is a very good bet uh, full season. No question. Awesome stuff there. I appreciate everybody that's tuned in right now again. Me, Eric Crocker, got my guy Sosa Picks with me, uh, talking to all things 49ers and fantasy as well. We're going to tie in you know, some of the, the narratives or storylines with the 49ers and their players. Are, are we expecting breakout seasons with some of these guys? And then we're tying into underdog fantasy. You got the best ball going. You got the uh, pickums going on underdog fantasy. And we have our giveaway. So, again, today – in this chat, I am giving away $50. And this is it's not just a today thing. This will be every week. Underdog Fantasy said, Croc, whatever you need, let's go. So every week, every week, I am giving away 50 bucks of Underdog Fantasy money to a random person in the chat. So how do you qualify for this? You just have to have a username. If you have an Underdog Fantasy username, you are eligible. I saw someone in the chat say, well, what if we've already had Underdog Fantasy? Then you're good. We're just going to have you post your username in the chat. So if you don't have Underdog Fantasy, download the app right now or go to underdogfantasy.com and use promo code CROCKY. That's C-R-O-C-K-Y. 